evening, welcome. This is the sixth Inspiration Awards. People are arriving already, so let's go inside and see who's here. I'm really looking forward to tonight. It'll be great. It's just lovely to be nominated. You know, I feel very, very flattered, actually. I am excited. I've been told to bring some tissues and I haven't bought any, so um, I'm a bit worried about that. Events like this, I think, are so important and I'm really honoured to be here tonight. I've got my sister In particular with this award ceremony, it's good to see real women that are making a massive impact on society, but that you wouldn't necessarily hear about. Every year we find these women who have done amazing things. This is a, a lovely event to come to. I just think it's so important for the nominees to actually be recognised for the amazing things that they've done. Welcome to the six Inspiration Awards for Women, supporting once again Breakthrough Breast Cancer. I made sure I got back in time just to do this, so I flew back in this morning absolutely jet lagged but I, I'm really looking forward to performing and and being part of this um, a magical moment obviously there can only be one winner but you're all winners you know you are but the winner tonight is Jackie Reed really just to say she is very very inspirational and we're all very very proud of her and she'll be very proud that I've received Thank you. It was um, a pleasure to come up here. She can't be here today, but she'll be so proud. It's a power and it's a broken. Hallelujah. And the award goes to, ah, it's lovely, Lorraine Kelly. Great choice. You are the kind of women that we want our daughters to look at and to emulate. You really are inspirational. Congratulations, you deserve it so, so, so much. And the winner is Tess Daly. I'm proud to be a woman and I believe that we can be anything together. And the first the winner is Martina Milburn. Slightly shaky actually, I wasn't expecting that at all. I would actually like to accept this award on behalf of all the young girls that turn up at the door of the Prince's Trust. There's a, a young woman called Gina who I actually first met when she was in Holloway Prison and um, she came out of prison and we helped her set up in business as a florist and she's done so well she's now running three businesses she has two catering companies but she comes back all the time and volunteers for the trust yeah. i'd like to say thank you very much for this amazing honor i'll continue with my charity raising funds to be breast cancer. Thank you. It's my honor and my pleasure to present this award to a beautiful, beautiful young girl, Naomi. Sorry, I'm crying again on, I'm crying again, sorry. Um, I'd just like to say it's an honor to be to win this award, I would never expect in my life to be called an inspirational woman and I'm very thankful that to get to receive this award. Thank you. And the next winner is Susan Taylor. So far, more than £100,000 has been donated to Susan's charities. We thank everyone who and we thank you for the honour. I think what also brings home just how important it is to support Breakthrough tonight is how many survivors that are in the room and that if we continue to support Breakthrough we won't be using the word victim when talking about breast cancer in the future. We've got an amazing performance tonight forward to that. Yeah, it's all breast cancer survivors. All breast cancer survivors, all their daughters, and they're all singing. See, I think that's incredible. I really do. And that, again, is so uplifting. Who's the most inspirational woman in your life? Definitely my mum. Um, I would have to say my mum. <laughs> My mum. My daughter. Absolutely my mum. My mum has always been my inspiration. I had two. Um, my mum and my grandmother, it's because of how strong they are. My mum is the strongest woman I think I ever will know.
Do you know what? I have never been more proud of these ladies. They were fabulous. They were really great. And they got a standing ovation. Which oh. was lovely. And the winner is... <laughs> Helen Bamber OBE. She's somebody who chose never to be a bystander in her life. Her work spans over seven decades and over 90 countries. We work at her foundation. We're a group of doctors and psychiatrists and lawyers and therapists, and we work with survivors who have survived atrocity. Jackie Stratton. Just a small girl who dreams big. It's really my friends and family who deserve the award. And the doctors told me I might never run again, and I thought, no one's going to tell me that. Kate had cattle. I've just met some amazing ladies tonight and you are all truly inspirational. Tomorrow is the fourth birthday of my beautiful daughter Naya and I am doing this uh, as the baton carrier to ensure that she has an even better life than, than I've had and doesn't have some of the stigmas and challenges I have and um, I just would like to thank everyone for this. Fantastic award, thank you very much. I was bullied when I was young and I want to make it better for everyone. And the winner is Kim Windsor. I lost my mum to breast cancer, so I actually think this is absolutely fantastic what Sky and the team do here. I've just worked really hard, absolutely followed my dream, um, put a lot of energy into it, had a sprinkling of good luck, uh, worked with some amazing people, and hopefully um, will inspire some young girls on the way to follow their dream work hard and succeed. Celia Sawyer. I was always told, never, ever, ever give up. I'm really shocked. I didn't expect that at all. And the winner is... Alice Halstead. I know how important it is to have a wish granted, and I believe every seriously ill child should have their wish granted too. I'm sharing this award this evening with all the other seriously ill children because they are the aspirational ones who continue to amaze me with their courage and determination. We've had her two years at the end of October and she hasn't had a day off since being partnered with me. It looks like she's taking an opportunity to have a little rest right now. <laughs> <It's a diva. laughs> the winner for the Inspirational Determination Award is Bernie Nolan. A wonderful wife, adoring mother, loving sister. She's irreplaceable, that's how her family describe her and some of them are here tonight. This is Erin, uh, Bernie's daughter, who wants to say something. Um, I just want to thank you so much for this award for my mum because she's my inspiration every day and like she would be so thrilled to have got this and she really deserves it, so thank you so much. We're a bit emotional at the moment, but we're thrilled. We're yeah. thrilled that Bernie got this award. The winner of the Inspirational International is Jessica Cox, World of Italy. For everyone watching, if I can fly an airplane with my feet, what can you accomplish? The winner is... These women. What's been great about tonight is seeing so many women who've overcome so much and who are inspirational to us. And the winner is... Andrea Virgil. Baroness Doreen Lawrence. I will continue to do what I do because I feel I need to, and I feel that I need to be able to help other young people who, like Stephen, sometimes don't have the opportunity or the chance to. And so the Stephen Lawrence Centre, what we do there is to make sure we give other young people the opportunity that was denied Stephen, because I think it's so important for our children because they are our future. Thank you. for another year, another Inspiration Awards over. We'll see you again next year.